This video shows the removal of a small sebaceous cyst using a manual technique and electrolysis equipment. The removal is being performed by Josefa Reina of Spain, an expert in the field of aesthetics and electrolysis. She's my friend and I call her Josie. She has produced hundreds of YouTube videos. Please visit her channel to see these procedures. A sebaceous cyst is essentially a gigantic blackhead. It's filled with sebaceous gland secreted oil called sebum, dead skin cells called keratin, and other fatty substances. The top portion of the cyst is oxidized and darker in color. The cyst pushes up the epidermis, the top layer of your skin. The cyst lies well within the dermis and usually pushes up the dermis as well. Most sebaceous cysts extend down into the hypodermis or subdermis, the fat layer of your skin. Very large cysts can put pressure on the underlying muscle and when they reach this size can become painful. Specific instruments are available to remove blackheads, but they're mostly worthless unless the blackhead fits the exact size of the instrument itself, and they seldom do. For large blackheads, and sebaceous cysts, these instruments make matters worse because they only push down on the plug and rupture adjacent capillaries. To effectively remove large blackheads and sebaceous cysts, you need upward pressure from below the plug. As you shall see, such pressure can be achieved by manual extraction. Notice the bump the cyst has caused. Notice the dark color from the hard oxidized cap that forms on the top of such lesions. First, Josie removes some epidermis so that the plug can be removed. Please understand that there is no danger from piercing or cutting the epidermis. The epidermis cannot form scar tissue. Again, the epidermis never forms scar tissue and always grows back fully intact. In this overlay drawing, Notice the epidermis stretched thin over the cyst and no dermis is involved at all. Scars only form in the dermis, never the epidermis. Josie opens the plug with a sterile hypodermic needle and uses this instrument to dig out the hard upper plug. Josie now applies compression from the outside margins of the cyst, a little bit of pressure at a time, not constant pressure. And here's the secret. She allows time for the skin to react to her momentary compression. An inflammatory reaction takes place and blood vessels expand under and around the cyst. In this way, she's working with nature to create upward pressure from under the cyst. This expansion and pressure from below helps push out the cyst. This is a very hard plug, and the blood you see indicates that she's now pushing out material that lies in the dermis.
she treats the entire plug with electrolysis. She uses a bare needle with both galvanic and thermolysis currents on at the same time. With this technique, she breaks loose the plug from the skin with both heat and sodium hydroxide. And she also disables the sebaceous gland itself. All the electrolysis damage takes place in the deep tissues and there is zero possibility of visible scar formation. Her treatment loosens up the hard material and she manually forces out the remaining plug. Finally, she removes the entire capsule. Seeing this capsule indicates that the cyst is completely removed and no more material is left. The skin will grow over this area and there will be no scar or mark whatsoever. And another great procedure by Josefa of Spain, my most excellent friend Josie.